Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been quite a while since I last made a video, but the weather's been terrible. Something quite exciting, I've teamed up with Crab from Australia, and they've very kindly sent out some slings for me to use. So today is gonna to be the first time trialing these. Um, already carrying the gun down from the car uh, with the bag was like 10 times easier. Um, normally I've got to carry it in one hand and scramble down the rocks with the other. Uh, but this time I had two hands free and it just made it a lot easier. So I'm excited to see what it's like just carrying it down to the rocks, uh, getting in and out of the water with, with both hands instead of, you know, just, just the one. So without further ado, I'm going to get in the water because I'm sweating my tits off in here and we'll get in and see what's around. First dive down, I noticed a fish coming towards me and it turns out it was a bass, but it kept its distance and unfortunately didn't come close enough. Span around and swam off. I would be interested to find out if anybody knows what the high pitched noise is in the background. I was convinced that it was some kind of whale, but after watching a few videos and doing a little bit of research online, it sounds like more of a sonar from a submarine. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Not long later, I noticed a bass poking its head out from the kelp, and I slowly approach it. Missed it. Moment. Take the shot, but unfortunately, I think something went wrong with the with the rubber and the monofilament line. So I move off to a different location. I actually go and check the hole where the big lobster is normally living, uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't there this time. Whether it's been taken or it's moved off to a different place, I don't know. But as I was swimming back up, I noticed just above the hole there was a brown crab sitting on a ledge. I decided to take this one back to the beach and cook it up. Okay, so I just got back in. Um, not a bad dive, to be honest. Saw a few bass at the start, quite small. Uh, missed the bass. And then uh, found quite a nice sized crab, which I'm gonna cook up in a minute. Also found one of my old drop weights, uh, which is funny, because it's been there for, well, it's been there a whole year now, since the last lockdown, or the first lockdown. I missed a very nice sized bass. Um, I dived down into a gully with my torch first, not the gun looking for lobsters and as I dived down this bass was literally just sat there looking at me um, and I was almost upside down so it was a bit of an awkward angle so I had to bring the gun round uh, very slowly to try and get above it you know and I was staring at it for about 10 seconds thinking when's it gonna go when's it gonna go and literally just as I brought my gun back around pressed the trigger it did like a 360 and you know the spear went well I missed it to be honest so, 
Yeah, not a bad dive. It's nice to see the bass are back. Yeah, it's so nice to get back in the in the water, especially after these uh, these last couple of weeks where the weather's been absolutely awful. Um, yeah, the visit wasn't that bad. Quite a lot of life around. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this season. Hopefully we can catch yourself a nice bass and not miss them like I just did. But, and as you can see, the spear sling coming in handy again. You know, if I wasn't holding the camera now, I would have uh, two spare hands, you know, making it nice and easy to climb around the rocks. So, highly recommend getting one myself. If you're a shore diver, I'm all for it. I think they're really good, well made. And you know, they pack down very easily afterwards. So I'm gonna get back to my bag. We'll get the gas cooker set up. Um, cook up the crab uh, and have some lunch. Okay, so we're back, changed and ready to cook up the, uh, the crab, which I caught earlier. I bought a big pot with me today in my uh, rucksack, which I carry down with me along with all my spear fishing kit. In it, I've got some gas, gas cooker, some stuff to cook up with the crab, pasta, and some butter, garlic, and uh, salt and pepper. So what I'm gonna do is fill up this with some salt water. adding the pasta back onto the if I had a bigger dish or another dish I would have put the uh, pasta in that but I forgot to bring one so make do I suppose with what I've got give this a mix then on top the prize part of it all the crab meat <sighs> look at that it's like gold dust Mm. So good. The seas come right down now. It's literally flat calm. Compared to this morning, there was a bit of swell, to be honest. Just whilst I've got a bit of time now. And if you're still watching at this point, and you enjoy what I do, the videos I make, content that I put out. I now have a uh, membership part of my YouTube channel. On that, there's two different options. £2.99 a month or £4.99 a month. It basically helps support me um, in doing what I'm doing here right now. Um, but also gives you some extra features like behind the scenes, early release to videos, uh, and also live streams with channel members uh, if I decide to do that and there's enough people. I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. Thanks very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you've got any questions about the gear that I'm using or just spearfishing advice in general, then please leave your comments in the comment section down below.